Hello and welcome back to the next game. 1v1 on Arena Between Doubt, playing in blue as the Mayans and his opponent, Gava Guy. Uh, I don't know this player, but I've seen him play a few times at the Arena as well, playing in purple as the Magyars. Doubt, loving his Mayans as far as I remember, uh, I think from old AOC days. Mayans nowadays on Arena, not so strong, I guess, but Doubt, I think, knows how to play them. This should, this should be really interesting. As for the Magyars here, Magyars, a very interesting civilization, not a bad on arena in general but those heavy cav archers can put up a very good fight i think and you have a few options especially the magia hasaras seem interesting as they're good against siege uh, magia siege i think is not as good but uh, the game could be interesting nevertheless we have uh, fully upgraded paladins obviously and uh, we could see normal hasaras as well we could see a long game here as cover guy, as, as far as I know, is a pretty decent player. Doubt though, of course, the legend, he is the favorite, clearly, as he's one of the most well-known players. Uh, a legend of the game, he has played pretty much every single, ma single matchup there is, I guess, at least. Maybe not on DE, but on everything else. Doubt has an extra gold inside his base, which is very nice to see. Main stone safe in the back, main gold safe in the back, so the map already looking good. Of course, the deer nowadays are all inside. We have the second gold for but inside, and we have a third gold outside, one relic not too far away but not too close either then there's one relic on the right hand side here extra stone extra gold maybe a little bit closer to cover guy um, going through the middle we have another relic between the two players closer to doubt and the second stone for doubt on the left hand side is outside so two resources outside but the rest is inside for doubt looks like a pretty decent map cover guy has a third gold outside on the left pretty far away actually we have the main stone forward for him, the second gold and the main gold safe in the back though, and the second stone also safe in the back. The deer yet to um, be pushed towards the TC, so a little bit of space to boom if he needs it. So both players have decent maps in my opinion, doubt maybe even a little bit better, I'm not sure. He's got the extra gold in the back, that's something to, uh, going for him, but... Um Looks like the two golds in the back might be even more uh, valuable here. Doubt with the main stone in the back, that's what you want to have for the mains. You want to have safe stone as Doubt usually wants to go for a castle here. Then again, he's not on stone yet and it doesn't look like he's going for a castle immediately. Let's fast forward a little bit and see what Doubt is up to. He's got three villages on gold, which is pretty standard, but didn't go for loom. So there's a lot of gold uh, banked up already, more than he needs. And that's a little bit surprising to me. So it's not going to be plumed arches here. Doubt is going market blacksmith, will be able to click up to Castle Age immediately after the two villagers and then I guess is going yeah barracks so going for Eagle Scouts trying to go for map control I expect a stable from Gava guy on the, on, the on the other side and that's indeed what's happening and a market actually so trying to balance this economy I guess instead of the blacksmith makes kind of sense and now we're going to see both players uh, trying to scout as much as possible Doubt is using a group of two eagles to scout here and we're going to see the first fights that we slow down a little bit as Doubt is going for a monastery most likely yeah it's up already a second TC not coming up yet he's missing the wood and the scouts actually going back waiting to be no that's light cap already you can see the shields in the back i guess monastery is up and we have a second tc up on the third one coming up no that's a house second tc coming up on the wood line here 17 minutes in uh, we're going to see minor fights happening eagles warriors already done no eagle scouts against light cap and light cap have an advantage now four against four but those eagle scouts don't have upgrades so the light cap should be stronger eagle warrior upgrades coming in though for doubt and then he will be able to fight doubt taking the first relic uh, there's one close to cover guy, I think the other he should have already taken. It was too close to space as far as I remember. And now Lightcap against Eagle Warriors. Uh, looks like the, um, uh, Lightcap have the numbers here, but it's two against two. And the Lightcap are actually going back. Um, Monk, of course, starting to heal up. And Doubt can easily produce more Eagle Warriors here, which he's already doing. Third TC coming up for him on the wood line, second TC on the other wood line here, as you can see. So, Doubt with a decent economy. Same for Gavagai, though. He's three villages ahead, and we're still seeing fights between the Eagles and Light Calf. Looks like Doubt should be able to get those three relics in, possibly, uh, or maybe even four. Uh, let's see. That's a monk hiding with a relic here. Doubt knows that there was a relic around here, so he's spreading out his Eagle Warriors. That's a beautiful move, and he's finding the monk. The relic is going down. The monk is going down the relic. Staying there. Ooh, Gavagai needs 
needs to move the monk back and without losing one monk here. So now Gavaga with two, doubt with two, and the last one. No, actually doubt with only one. He did not pick up this ready on the right hand side close to his base, and that's a little bit surprising to me. Knight out in the meantime, of course, the players are trying to boom as fast as possible. Doubt 600 wood in the bank. The Gavaga had more, no, 250, and looks like Gavaga went for four TCs. No, three. Still 3 TC on the stone. Wait, one, two, three, three TCs. Not four. Uh, yeah. And, ooh, how did Doubt get in here? He's losing that eagle. But now he's got two eagles here. A monk going down to the light calf once again. The other guy is doing good here. Three light calf and a monk against two eagles. The eagles should go down. There's more eagles on the way, but Gavaga is able to at least get that really close to his base. And from here on, as Gavaga already was able to uh, convert one of those eagles, that relic is going to his monastery. So it's three against two after all the fights in the middle. In the meantime, the players were able to boom behind this, try to get the economy going. Doubt with 700 wood in the bank, maybe needs a few more farms still. 28 for him, Gava guy. Uh, 32 actually, his economy seems a little bit more balanced. And he's now going for Archer Ranges, which makes sense. We have the stable up already to go for Bloodlines and Husbandry. And we're going to see Cav Archers for him. Don't think anything else is uh, on his agenda. Doubt going with the university now, wants to have that second building. Uh, a few more houses as well. Going with an outpost, as he did not scout the golden in his back, but he's going to find it eventually, I guess. And it's Gavagai who is on the way up to Imperial Age first. Not with the score lead, but now again, as Doubt also clicked. And more Archer Rangers on the way. Cav Archer production starting. Gavagai is low on wood and he needs wood for the Cav Archer production. Handcart coming from Doubt only now, fletching on the way. And we're going to see a transition to Imperial Age. Question is, how fast are you going to attack? Again, castle coming up in front of Gavagai's base. I like this position from the castle. I think a few military buildings around, maybe a house or two, would do good as well. You have some support there and looks like he's waiting for no he's going for his third gold actually no that's the wrong one is anything happening i don't want your lock all this looks good for for no sorry for that we have the first minor fights happening doubt with eagle warriors plus one plus two actually on the defense plus one on the attack doubt with the castle on the right hand side guarding that gold and also kind of in the range of the stone here and looks like the castle here is not going up yet as one eagle warrior is actually able to push this villages back now the castle should go up safely those Cav Archers plus 4 attack already, plus 2 defense, missing a few upgrades still, but it's uh, no problem, we're only 33 minutes in. And Doubt is going for the Elite Eagle Warriors, 4 plus 4 already on the Pierce Armor, looking good, Outpost going down, and we have that Castle up on the gold, Archer range following up. Cav Archer production still going, and that's a pretty good amount of Cav Archers here. I can see 26. Doubt is probably going for Rams, battering Rams production starting, cap from upgrade on the way, conscription coming up as well. So the players are still going for their army compositions before with big fight. Magyar Harsars with full attack upgrades, obviously, as they are for free. And the first trebuchet to hit uh, that siege workshop. A lot of Cav Archers to guard here. Was Cav Archers 6 plus 5 attack now? That's so important. You want to get the attack upgrade that range. 4 plus 4, because the Elite Eagle Warriors 4 plus 4 and 100 HP already done, they are pretty tough to take down, you want to have now 7 plus 5 actually with the Heavy Cav Archers, that's 4 damage per arrow, and that means they're going to be doing at least decent damage, but you need still 25 hits, if I'm counting correctly, if I'm missing any secret um, attack bonuses or something, to take an Elite Eagle Warrior down, and that's quite a lot. Also, we have uh, Sea Trams now approaching that castle, looking good for Doubt here, he's on the forward, even though the score says differently, most Elite Eagle Warriors are able to take down those Heavy Archers quite quickly. I think they're fully upgraded now, maybe missing one upgrade, I'm not sure. Do you get uh, the last defense upgrade as the Magyars? We have Sea Tramps going for that castle, taking it down, then going for the next Archer range. The second castle might fall as well, and that's really important to keep these castles alive. Magyars are production only starting now, and it doesn't look good for Gava Guy here. The Heavy Archers are fighting quite well, but uh, Elite Eagle Warriors coming in from down here all over the map. And looks like Gavaga is losing his forward doubt, taking the score lead here population wise. Pretty neck and neck, military wise as well. But uh, the heavy cav archers are no way to fight against the elite Iggy currently. And Doubt is still able to go for the extra golds here at a mining camp here. He has this extra gold inside his base, which is he already is already taking. He could go for uh, Gavaga's gold as well. He's going for forward castle now. And how to stop elite eagles? He could go for infantry, he could go for like Cavalier Paladin, but that's just very expensive and probably not the best idea uh, in general. So let's see how Gavagai can do with the heavy cap archers. Two archers coming up, that's a little bit of a surprise to me because I think 
the Elite Eagles were doing better here. Now Nightcap in the mix and Hussars might maybe a good option against those Elite Eagles as Hussars are cheap compared to the Eagles when it goes for the long game. And uh, they're actually not fighting too bad. I think a, a Mongol Hussar fully upgraded is stronger than an Elite Eagle Warrior without the unique tag, as far as I remember, at least in 1v1. So that should be quite cost effective then, uh, considering the gold cost for Eagles. Now Gavagar lost his monastery to the Trebuchet, but it's not a big problem here. And we have that castle surrounded by heavy cav archers. The Elite Bloom archers getting attacked by Light Cav. No more Eagles on the field, and that's really surprising. I think the Eagles were quite a bit better here. Now Gavagar with the castle on the right hand side. And taking the extra gold, something he desperately needs to do, as he's very low on gold in general. And of course he's spending a lot of food now on the light cap, soon to be Hassaras, I guess. Now he doesn't have siege, so he needs to go back and not fight underneath the castle, but he should maybe be able to deny this castle here. More heavy cap archers on the way, free light cap behind this castle for doubt. Is this a doubt castle? Oh, kinda. It's not really a doubt castle, as it's not critical. And there were not so many villagers. We have a lot of fighting now between those ranged units on the right hand side. Now this going with another castle here trying to claim that gold. Uh, there's quite a good amount left and a trebuchet is going on to the sea tram. Doubt with the lack of sea trams in my opinion. He should have gone for more. But he's uh, mining out the last of his gold here. I guess he doesn't have any extra gold inside his base any longer or any gold. So he needs to fight for the gold as well. And we are 47 minutes in. Gold is scarce. We have Gavagai hopefully taking the relics back. Yeah, not too far to the back here actually which I dislike, but it's not a big problem if he can actually defend himself. And now there's a few plumed archers starting to raid the wood line, which Gavagai doesn't really mind. I guess he's got 2k wood in the bank. One on the village, he should maybe reassign him to go on more farms. He almost got 50, which is a good number. The trebuchet is taking down the castle, and Gavagai with those very strong heavy cav archers actually taking uh, kind of the lead in the middle of the map. Not really, uh, not yet at least. Out is keeping map control of the castles. The three trebuchets are making sure that those castles are not safe. Now we have pikemen on the field. Doubt definitely needs help. Let's see if he can afford it and when. Uh, going also with another castle to take that third gold from Gavagai, which is very important for Doubt here. Doubt in the score lead, but he's losing another castle here. He could lose the siege workshops, which are not really important at this point. And the heavy cap archers now getting attacked by a lot of the pruned archers. Need to go back for a little bit, but more on the way. And still no Hussar upgrade for Gavagai. He cannot afford it. And this is huge. But there is more trebuchets on the way, hitting the next castle, I guess. And that castle should go down quite fast as Doubt has a few villages to repair, but that's three trebuchets at least. And and they have a big firepower against castles, so this castle is pretty much doomed. Lightcap coming in to actually raid the villages now on the gold, and I think our guy should be able to take or to claim this gold very soon. A lot of help is now. I think he needs maybe elite skirmishes even to fight this army. That's the perfect counter to both units that Doubt is currently going. And we have the Trebuchet still able to take down castles. Gava guy, not sure. Elite skirmishes uh, switch is needed in my opinion. We have a lot of villages now going for that gold. Hussar upgrade might be really helpful as well. And Doubt losing some map control. He's going for yet another castle as he's taking a lot of extra stone here. That means the gold on this side is not really secured any longer, but there's only like 300, 400 left maybe. So uh, it's not a big problem for Gava guy. This is a problem though. The Helmets are taking down trebuchets for nothing. The traps were able to take down a castle. And Gavagai is finally taking gold here. Doubt low on gold, Gavagai getting a little bit of gold income here. He's got one relic more than Doubt, which is really important. Lightcap idle on the right hand side, mining camp is going down, but nobody can claim this gold now. And the heavy cap archer is still in good numbers, 32 again. Uh, Mega Hazard in the mix, so Gavagai must have another castle somewhere. Yeah, here it is. Uh, something I didn't see. And now Doubt is going for the lead skirmishes, something that Gavagai should have done some time ago, in my opinion. Low on food though, a decent amount of gold in the bank. He could afford the skirmishes easily. Easily. He could go for some siege, maybe. There's somebody's raiding the gold now. And on the right hand side, one trebuchet to hit that castle. A lot of Kavarchers still alive. Are we going to see the Hussar upgrade sometime in this game? Doubt now with a very strong army in the middle. A lot of trash units, obviously, but they're doing good against the heavy cap archers. So Doubt in a score lead, and I feel he's better right now. Uh, unless we're going to see elite skirmishes from Gavagai. Then we might see a different game. Two traps against none now as the Magi Hussar is going in. I don't think we have seen the unique tag for Gavagai to make these Magi Hussars cost no gold. If, if he did, then good for him. But but I don't remember it and uh, looks like he's not spending any gold here. His gold slowly going up. Mm, trebuchet coming up this way. Maybe he's done it. So really important to see um, the Makahasas cost no gold uh, once that upgrade is done. And I think they should be considered the best trash unit in the game. Even before the trash pose and 200 swordsman from Malay. 
So, uh, Magia Hazaras can change games, in my opinion. And they have that bonus against uh, siege units, so siege rams are not secure either. But still, no elite skirmishes. Um, Gavagai is going for his cavalry units, using all the cavalry he can get, except for paladins, obviously. But it doesn't really matter. Ooh, nice elite skirmisher used from Doubt here against the cavalry. Three trebuchets, though, hitting yet another castle from Doubt. There's still 700 gold to take, or maybe 800, and you want to get that gold. The Halberdiers don't really um, face a counter unit here. The heavy cavalry just cannot go too close, and Gavagai is still not going for the elite skirmishers, which is uh, for me really surprising. Now they are coming in, finally. A little bit too late, but not too late to win this game. Maybe Dowd and escorted, it, but only by a little bit. And he lost yet another castle, so no more uh, lead plundarge production from forward castles. And Dowd apparently doesn't even have a castle left. This is huge. It's gonna be a trash fight one hour and five minutes in. The better trash, I think. For the Magyars here with the Hussars, Magyar Hussars, Elite Skirmishes are fully upgraded already, obviously, and still a few Cavarches in the back here. Uh, Magyar Hussars taking on the left, a big fight in the middle of my left, and again, uh, <laughs> cannot really uh, um, keep up with the game here. Looks like Doubt's still going with. Uh, uh, still with score lead now a few sea trams, which is a good idea, but he needs the numbers. He's got seven no sixty-eight military units against seventy something. Pretty neck and neck. What a great game here. Gava guy keeping up without and doubt an arena one we won may and get ours. And I can't really tell who is winning this. Doubt has the map control still. He still has the middle. Nobody taking the gold now, which is surprising to me, but they are like uh, really concentrated on the fighting. And he's going with four buildings as well, which is really important to see as you want to have short really Reinforcements distances. A uh, few heavy cavalry still alive. For doubt, it's pretty much only trash units now. Um, Gava guy with a little bit of golden bank. Doubt 600, 700 even. What's the idea here? Maybe a few elite eagle warriors. Maybe sea trams. Maybe even no, it doesn't have more characters left, so no trebuchets for him. Sea trams pretty much the only option he has. And we do see a few uh, hussars trying to intercept uh, the reinforcements here. Elite skirmish fight now happening. They're on the same upgrades as far as I can see. So no big difference here, it's uh, coming down to numbers and to the other units, Hussars and Herbediers. So Doubt uh, still with the map control. Uh, again a raid on those gold mines, the Herbediers are pretty strong for Doubt, very effective in my opinion. And still no winner to be seen. This is amazing, actually very strong game here from both players. Doubt banking 1k, 1 gold, he's only using trash units. Gavagai is spending his gold on heavy care archers supposedly. Mega Hazards, I think, are for free at this point, or only uh, costing food and no gold. We have a few more villagers taking gold here, but it's coming down to the numbers. It's coming down to Doubt having 2k gold in the bank, saving up a lot here. Is he taking gold somewhere? I don't see it. Maybe he's selling resources, he's got a lot of food in the bank, and he is. Um, getting counter-attack from Gavagai now with a good amount of military units. Uh, I think Doubt maybe a few more still, but Gavagai can reinforce faster. At the same time, a few Hussars trying to raid here, Doubt reinforcing everything. I'm um, not sure if he overchopped here, but he's safe for now. And the fight's still happening closer to Gavagai's base. On the left-hand side, a few Helbidias again raiding the villages. And Doubt now spent all the gold on Elite Eagle Warriors. There they are. Let me slow down a little bit. I want to see the Elite Eagle Warrior numbers. That's more than 30 Elite Eagles on the field, now able to take down Elite Skirmishers fast. Is that the fight that we needed to see? That big army push from Doubt. He spent 2k gold on Eagles, but he needs to follow up with some siege. He needs to get that castle down. Otherwise, it's going to be tough for him to uh, actually do some real damage here. And Gavagai obviously is still reinforcing, getting a lot of hustles. He's got 75 farms, which is a really good number. 40 lumber camps, lumber checks, sorry. And uh, yeah, Helbidi is attacking the stable, not really important. As you can see, Doubt is now moving into Gavagai's base, but the eagle numbers are slowly going down. 20 left. Uh, can he go for more? I don't see them. Uh, Helbert is though, and Elite Eagle Wars inside Gavagai's base now. Gavagai is low on military, 15 only. The Elite Eagle Wars did so much damage, and this might be GG call coming in as Doubt is finally able to go into Gavagai's base. Now following up with four sea trams, the castle pretty much doomed. There's Helbert is around, you cannot really counter attack this. Not enough military buildings for Gavagai to reinforce fast enough. And this is looking really good for Doubt now. Let's see if we can take the castle down. Oh. Raiding happening on the wood line, on the other wood line as well. We did, we were still there. Yeah, that castle is going down, and we're going to see the GG. Amazing game by both players. In the end, Doubt saved up a lot of gold, went for the Elite Eagle Warrior push, and won the game. What a strong game between the two players. I hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next games. GG.